Hi, me again. Uh, it's time for Ask a Scientist, and it's hard to believe, but this is number 10. It's 10 on scientists. I think we're up to like 6 on psychologists, so we're doing pretty well. Uh, 16 in the shorter period of time is doing pretty good, and, and the questions that we're getting, generally speaking, wonderful, right off the bat, bat I've got to gotta compliment everybody on some of the questions that we're getting. A couple ones that I think are stupid, but hey, you know, that's my opinion. Um, this one's actually going to be a little bit dicey, and if I seem like I'm double speaking, there is a reason. Um, Kelly was asking us, uh, are sex and gender synonyms? And if not, what's the difference? Um, if I seem a bit nervous with this, it's because I know Kelly. And Kelly is one of these people that I don't think is smarter than me. I know she is. Um, it's It speaks to the whole thing of, you know, the difference between intelligence and IQ and, and level of education. I've got a few more years on the earth than Kelly does. And, and Kelly is... Uh, is one of those people who has an incredible grasp on things. So I, it's one of those things where it seems like a trap. You know, I don't think she'd, she'd do that to me, but I want to make sure to do right by her on this. Um, so sex and gender. Um, in, in regular English, they're pretty much synonymous, but in terms of scientific delineation, no. No, they have nothing really to do with each other directly. Um, sex refers to uh, whether you are male or female in terms of do you physically have a dangly down? What are your chromosomes? What are your hormone levels? Um, sex refers to a physical state of, of what you got. Um, and uh, of course there's areas in between with like an XXY chromosome. But in, in general speaking, you're you're talking about, you know, do you have a penis or a vagina, or are you hermaphroditic? That's that's sex. Now, in terms of gender, gender usually refers to the sociological term of gender role. Um, gender refers to masculine or feminine. So I don't think, regardless of what your take is on any type of sexuality, I think we can all agree that there are men who are feminine. Uh, at the same time, and it, it, they can be heterosexual or homosexual, it doesn't matter uh, in this context, but there are feminine men, there are masculine women, and in that context, that would be where gender, really, uh, gender roles really don't agree with their sex. However, it's also important to note that um, since it's a sociological terms, it, it, the, the gender roles that we attribute to are usually very, very culturally specific. Um, someone who is, uh, I'll use an example from my own experience. When I was in the military, um, people in South Korea while I was there, it was common for men to latch pinkies when they walked down the street. Um, just to show that they're with each other and you know on, on a certain level as a psychologist I found that to be very primal because um, most primates will use touch to show an affiliation I'm with this person I have a, an, a kinship to this person so on that basis it makes perfect sense from primal level however um, in, in terms of Western thought and specifically American culture that's a little bit of feminine but it's not over there. It comes down to what you're taught, what you what you believe your sex roles are for your general area. Um, now, one does not necessarily have anything to do with the other, but it can, if that makes any sense. Most of the time, people can debate whether or not their gender is affected uh, by their behavior, uh, but your sex isn't, by definition. Um, it's the 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 sex is cut and dried. That's why they don't ask your gender when you're filling out forms. They're asking for your sex. Uh, uh, they want to know male, female, uh, and and with that, it's much more of a clear cut thing. Um, you can also attribute certain things like. I mentioned earlier with hormone level, um, an enhanced level of the testosterone or estrogen can actually go along with your sex, but again, how that affects gender is a matter of study. 
um, and just to make sure that I'm doing right by Kelly on this, I wanted to give a reference on that. I'm, I'm actually going by the uh, the determination made by Anne Marie Nobilis. I think that's the pronunciation for it. Um, and I'm specifically going to put a link into one of her observations. You can monkey bar over to her page uh, and, and check out her qualifications as well. But um, it's uh, it's pretty much something where you uh, you you have the clear delineation on what is and then the how do you act idea and again how do you act is very subjective whether you're male or female is not now that's what when people talk about things like uh, that fall between the middle it's usually cross terminologies things that we like to associate gender reassignment surgery is one that I actually would prefer to go with the original term of sex change. The reason people don't like sex change in terms of uh, the gender reassignment surgery is because it's the word change that throws them off. Most of the people who receive gender reassignment surgery feel already inside like they're female or male depending on what their starting point is. Um, in terms of that you're actually getting your sex to match your gender. So it's not your gender that's getting reassigned, it's your acknowledged sex. Um, so I would, a lot of times I refer to it still by its old terminology of sex change operation rather than gender reassignment. Um, I, I think they changed the wrong part of the word. So I, I would, if I were to change that myself, it would be sex reassignment rather than gender reassignment. Um, and again, if I sound rambling, it's because I wanted to do right by Kelly on this because a lot of times I'll be having a discussion with her and she will just uh, I'll start reaching for a psychological concept or a medical concept and she'll be like oh yeah that's this this and this so um, Kelly I hope I did a good job on that and if so definitely uh, hit us up with another question because that was actually really good um, it's uh, I found in talking to people about this subject that um, except for very few, some thought they were synonyms, and, and I think that's some information that does need to get out there. Uh, speaking of getting out there, you might want to, regardless of your sex or your gender, you might want to go on over to ExoticEnvy.com and, and check out what they've got. They've got something for everybody with over, well, almost 2,000 items, and, uh, you know, the better they do, the better we do. So... Uh, thanks very much. Please don't forget to subscribe. I'm, I'm going to become a subscribing whore now. So, you know, there's a little thing like right about there where you can hit like or you can do a subscription. Or if you don't agree with something I've said, hey, throw it in the comments section. I'll try to answer you back. Uh, or uh, if you have a question, uh, go ahead and shoot it to me uh, either through a private message and, uh, God, reversed here either in a private message over here on YouTube or if you're on uh, if you've got me on Facebook go ahead and let me know on Facebook uh, or if you have email for me for anywhere just shoot it to me I just need to be able to print it out for the stack and no matter how backlogged we are we do appreciate it when we get questions I am playing catch up after getting an ear infection so hopefully we'll be uh, right in there soon um, and and thanks for all your support and shooting this out to all your friends and let us know which ones you like because you know we like to make you happy uh, if if I'm sitting here just talking and no one really likes any of them then I'm pretty much howling in the darkness and scared of the dark so have a great day and uh, and try to be good to each other <laughs>